I always had an interest in art. My mother was an artist. I'm one of 11 children, and I was the only one that really followed um, her interest in, uh, in art. So uh, it was this constant environment of being um, uh, surrounded by art and also encouraged by both her and uh, the professors in the design field. I had an interest in working with other artists, so that really sort of sparked in me an interest in wanting to be a practicing artist and exhibit my work, and that led to what eventually was an 18-year career as a curator um, to organize exhibitions and curate exhibitions, um, so, and that was as a result of being here at the college. So this particular exhibition is all artists that have attended or graduated uh, with either undergraduate or graduate degrees from Buffalo State College. So they're all alumni of the college, and there are 60 artists represented, seven decades, the 1950s to the present. Um, why they're selected, why I selected them. First of all, I, I had them in my collection. So this is really just a, um, a segment of representation, if you will, of artists that have studied and gotten their degrees at Buffalo State College. One of the things that you can see in the exhibition are artists that um, studied here, artists that went on to teach here, and some of the students that they've taught are in the same exhibition. So there's these parallels and overlaps and, um, that you can see between that influence. Uh, influence, admiration, encouragement, and the nurturing of those artists as they moved on into their career. The span of the uh, works in the exhibition go back to artists that have a very large um, and long-standing career. Artists that are in the collection of the Guggenheim, the Smithsonian, the Los Angeles County Museum, the Vatican, our collections in the Albright Knox, um, that have made significant lifetime commitments to art and to also to art education. When I was a student here, the best lesson I learned about what art was, was taught to me by Joe Pacillo. And in his class, it was called Arts and Living. And the one thing that he's told us very simple. He said, art is about ideas. It's not really the skill, the ability. That can all be learned and taught. It's the concept and the ideas that's behind it. <laughs>